Hey guys, Coda here. Today I'm going to be showing you how exactly you can get a custom map into Brick Rigs. First to start, we have to go grab the Epic Games Launcher if you don't already have it. I'll put this link in the description. Now, once you have that, let me open it real quick. You're going to be here. Now, you'll probably be on the home page normally. Instead, you want to go to Unreal Engine. You're going to go to your library. And you see. We need 4.22.3 for brick rigs. Now, engine versions, to add a new version like this, all you have to do is press this plus mark, click on this drop down, and you'll be able to see 4.22.3. It's not here for me because I already have it here. Now, once you have that, you're just wanting to hit launch. This will take a good bit of time, so you just want to wait. I'll see you when it's done. All right, so now you should be at the Unreal Editor, and you should see something like this. If you add the starter content, you'll see a table and chairs. You're going to have, want to go ahead and delete those by clicking on them and then pressing the delete key. Now, to get started with our basic map, all you're going to want to do is hit this landscape button and hit create. And this will make a very basic landscape for you. And from here, you can sculpt it, you can smooth it, flatten it, ramp it, erode it. You can do about anything you want. So if we want to create a little map, all we have to do is, let's see, let's go ahead and put tool strength up. If we wanted to make like a little circle of hills, all we'd have to do is this. So you can basically just draw your map. It's very easy to do, and it really only gets hard when you want to create something like the map that I created, which was an import of the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. But you see, you can build landscape really easily. Now, if we want to make this world actually work in Brick Rigs, we're going to need some content. Now, Noxious Fumes uploaded a zip that you can use to have an automatic template. Now, I will include the link to this in the description. Here it is. It's very simple. Now, all we have to do is download it. And there we go. Okay. I already had it downloaded, so let me open it real quick. And I'll show you where it goes. Alright. Here's test map two. All we're gonna want to do is open this content folder right here. Wait, that's not gonna work. Alright. We're gonna want to create a new folder, call it Brick Griggs. We're just gonna wanna uh, where is it? Show and explorer. Little window should pop up like this. And all you want to gonna do is drag. Let's see. You're gonna want to drag. You're gonna want to go back to here. You're gonna want to drag these folders into here. You want to replace files in the destination. Your explorer may freeze for a bit, but don't worry, that's normal. All right, now that that's all done, we should have all the content we need in here. Yep, go to content. We've got blueprints, brick editor, buildings, and levels. So now, all we're gonna wanna do, open buildings, open editors, Gonna want to click on the place tool to place an editor. All we're gonna want to do, grab this, and then just drag it out. You want to adjust it. You want to adjust it just so it's slightly above the ground, about right there. And to place the actual editor, 
we'll just put the one on this level far up. So this is the physical space where the editor actually is. So we'll just drag it up here. Now let's see. Yep, right there. That'll be where the editor is. And for that, we should be all done. This should be a very basic and simple map. All we have to do, control S, brick rigs, levels. You're going to want to click on desert, save. You're going to want to replace it. Now, this is our basic map, but now we need to make it so that's actually ready for brick rigs. To do that, all we have to do is go to file. We have to cook content for windows. This will take a bit the first time, but every, every other time you do it, it should be pretty fast. I'll see cooking is done. So all we have to do is put it into brick rigs. And for that, we're just going to go to, all right. Now, before we go ahead and modify Berkeley's files, we're going to want to open Illusory, which is the mod unlocker we will be using. Now, we're going to want to browse to our Steam directory, common, Brick Rigs, Brick Rigs, Binaries, and Win64. You want to click on this and then hit Select Folder. Now, all we have to do is hit Patch. Since I've already patched my, name, my game, I'm not going to hit it. All right, now that we've done that, all we have to do, manage, browse local files. Let's see, where is it? Okay, it's right here. All right, now you're going to want to go to Brickrigs, Content, Brickrigs. You're going to want to, if these are here from a previous map, you're going to want to delete them. Then you're going to want to go to Saved, Cooked, Windows No Editor, VR Recording Map, Content, Brick rigs, you're going to want to copy levels. Now, if your map uses custom content, you're going to see an assets folder as well. If you've created one, you just drag that in, drag that to brick rigs. Now, let's see if the map works. You can see what map it replaces by what it says right here. This one replaces desert. So we'll go ahead and try to start a game on desert once brick rigs loads. So now here we are at Brick Rigs, and all we have to do, play, go to Desert, and play. Now, the screen is black because the usual player start position is very odd. But now, if we go into Free Cam, we can come over here, and our map is in Brick Rigs, just like that. I'll be making some more tutorials on how to do a lot more advanced stuff like importing a map through Blender, but that's for later. As you can see, if we want, we can go into the editor. You see where we put that editor is where the actual editor will be. So now you can spawn a vehicle and drive around on your custom map. Now it might be a little laggy because some maps have motion blur enabled from default for some reason. We don't know how to fix that yet, or at least I don't. But if I figure it out, I'll make sure to leave a comment on this video. But for now, you have made a map. And from the desert map, there's still the silo and the water test. It's just here because that loads from another thing instead of actually being a part of the map, but it's whatever. As long as you ignore it, it's just your custom map. All right, so you've now made your first custom map in Berkrigs. Congratulations. The possibilities are endless from here. I'll, be, I'll definitely be making some more tutorials on more advanced map making techniques and probably texturization, but I need to learn those myself. All right. If you have any questions for me, you can just ask them on the Brickrigs Discord, or you can DM me on Discord. I'll have my name and identifier in the description. Alright, see you later.